Okay, folks. Just have your attention, please. Can you people on the stern of the boat please sit somewhere? Please be careful. I'd like to see you sitting down, please. Many thanks. Okay, not to be alarmed about, but I must give you a health and safety notice. It's just like you've been in a plane. This vessel can carry over 300 people. We've got life-saving equipment for that set amount. We've got it in the form of life rings, life rafts, points, our phrases. Clearly marked throughout the boat with a little green and white international sticker. We're in constant services, uh, contact with all the marine services. Sit back, enjoy. We're over the tide for a bit. The tide runs into London today. My water will be about one o'clock. So uh, we're going over the tide. You see how lovely and clean this bridge is? Well, in 1894, it cost £1.2 million to build it. They've just finished painting it. It's cost more money to paint it than it did to build it. How about that? It's amazing, isn't it? Okay. Over on your left-hand side, you see this here where the uh, bridge is on this entrance here to your left-hand side. This is the entrance to St. Catherine's Dock. This was the first ever enclosed dock ever put on the River Thames. The reason for doing this was to stop the pilfering and thieving out of the barges. It used to hold, 1828 this was built, Thomas Telford was the architect. It was built on very holy land, that's the name St. Catherine's Dock. It used to be in there, many precious cargoes, gold, silver, snake skins, ivory, tell turtle shells. But the most important one of all was the property. Over a hundred tons of opium used to go in there. The reason being, it used to feed the troops, made it a morphine for the First and Second World Wars.